Well, hello once again, everyone. Pat Olson here on our uh, district YouTube channel as we have a chance here in the uh, latter part of the summer to welcome to the school district uh, Miss Joy Dardanelle, formerly the principal at uh, Farallon View Elementary. Now the, uh, you give us the title. I'll let you say it. I'm you. the assistant superintendent of curriculum and instruction for the Cabrillo Unified School District. All right, very nice. So as we say that, we're going to try an uh, attempt here to try and do this dual dual language today, so for our Spanish-speaking audience, uh, Bienvenido en nuestro canal de YouTube. Estoy aquí con la señora Dardanelle. Y soy la nueva sub superintendente de currículo y instrucción en el distrito de Cabrillo. Okay, so as we jump into it, uh, Ms. Dardanelle, uh, first uh, walk us through the process, uh, your interest in the position, and uh, kind of how you got to this point uh, from, uh, for, from Fairlawn View. So I've always loved curriculum and instruction. I love learning. I love thinking about how people learn. And as a teacher in various districts before coming here, I came to Cabrillo and I was a literacy coach and an immersion teacher, became principal at Fairlawn View and I was there for four years. And when this position opened, it was just a really great opportunity and so I decided to, to take it up. Okay, now uh, in Spanish, yeah. <laughs> hablar sobre el proceso de uh, contracción. Pues um, en el proceso lo que he hecho es um, empezar primero con la solicitud y después habían dos entrevistas, una entrevista con un grupo de personas, creo que habían 12 personas y después de la primera entrevista había otra entrevista con la superintendente y, de, y después de, um, de la selección empezó este trabajo durante este verano. All right, as you uh, get settled into the, the seat, so to speak, and make that transition from uh, Fairlawn View Elementary, what challenges do you see that per perhaps lie ahead uh, with this position? Well, I think that one of the greatest strengths of our district is that we are a very small district and there's a lot of resilience and a lot of energy that we have here. And one of the challenges in such a small district too is to figure out how we can meet our collective goals with the resources that we have. And so I think that with every district, that's one of the challenges, especially in this changing time with new standards and new curriculum that's coming out. It's an exciting year with adoptions and piloting. All right, que uh, desfas, uh, desfaios ve en el futuro? Pues hay unos desafíos que veo en, en el futuro, um, especialmente con el, los presupuestos que tenemos y la habilidad con, que tenemos como un distrito pequeño a lograr las metas que tenemos, uh, estas uh, metas que son metas colectivas. Pues creo que las metas que tengo um, o desafíos que quiero decir, Este año puede ser también con las um, adoptaciones que vamos a tener en uh, los libros y el currículo que tenemos este año. All right. Have you thought about uh, goals, maybe uh, things you'd, you'd like to achieve uh, in, within your first year, maybe even your first couple years on the job? I think that one of the biggest goals I have this year, and hopefully with the support of the teachers and the administrators, one of my goals is to actually get into every classroom this year. Um, of each teacher in the district because I think that I'll be able to make stronger decisions that really reflect the collective de interest of the whole district when I understand and what's happening on the ground in the classrooms. So that's one of my big goals as well as just supporting the goals of the board as well as of the superintendent in meeting our LCAP and other types of goals. All right, Tiene uh, Algunas uh, Metas. Pues uh, la meta más grande que tengo es que quiero ir en, uh, a visitar cada clase, cada maestro en el distrito este año con el apoyo de los maestros y los administradores aquí porque creo que con um, esta sabiduría o con uh, el conocimiento de lo que está pasando en cada clase puedo también apoyar lo que está pasando mejor en el nivel del distrito. Now you touched upon this a little bit uh, with the last answer, but I'll ask you to expand on it because we talked some during the, the summer at the AVID conference and, and a little bit when you came up and visited me at summer school about getting them more inside the classroom. So how much do you, you know, see yourself wanting to be on campus uh, at all the different sites uh, around the school district? 
I would love to be able to visit the classrooms in the school, every classroom in the uh, district this year, and that's a goal of mine. In terms of how much time every week, I'd really like to set aside time every week, but I can't say exactly how many hours that'll look like. I hope that when I do visit classrooms, people will welcome me with open doors when I show up. So <laughs> that would be great. I'm sure they will. I'm sure they will. Uh, Quanto tiempo va a pasar in uh, Las Alas? Pues quiero um, pasar mucho tiempo en las aulas este año visitando las clases y todos los maestros y las escuelas para aprender más de lo que está pasando. Y espero que los maestros um, puedan abrir las puertas a mí y en, uh, dar bienvenidos a la clase y también a los estudiantes. Well, uh, Joy, officially uh, welcome aboard. Uh, glad to have someone promoted from within the district. It's uh, a movement we've seen the last uh, you know, 14, uh, 16 months in the district, it's, it's nice to have someone that kind of knows the system already. Well, thank you very much, Pat. I really appreciate having the opportunity to come here today. All right. Mucho gracias. Okay. Gracias. Okay. All right. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm Pat Olson along with uh, Joy Dardanelle here on our uh, district YouTube channel. Gracias por su atención. Estoy Pat Olson.